All right, so this is a presentation by me, Dulce, and Isa, and the title of it is Poor Academic Success Related to Drug and Alcohol Use, and we decided to title this Don't Fall in the Crack. So adolescents, who exactly are the ages that get targeted at? And those would be those of the ages of 12 to 20. Those feel that it is the most, they need the most. Um, they need to drink alcohol, do drugs. And it is mainly due to peer pressure and those influences around them that they do it. And what exactly is the issue with that? These substances make a big impact in adolescents' health. And that goes from drinking alcohol that causes brain development, the damaging of organs, and of course, the main topic, which is uh, affecting their academic success. And it is illegal for those to drink under the age of 21, but however, it is those of ages 12 to 20 that are the ones that drink the most in the United States. So what exactly are drugs and alcohol? Drugs are substances that can affect the person's physical or mental health. And that can be from affecting the way they feel, they act, understand, and the way they use their senses. And all this is due to the fact that drugs affect the brain. Versus alcohol, it is a fermentation of fruits, vegetables, and sugars that affect the nervous system, making it slow down. And excessive drinking can decrease the way you perform tasks, and it would require a lot longer periods of attention to be able to do these skills. The top drugs that get abused would be marijuana, cigarettes, and prescription drugs. And by when do these drugs get abused too much? Well, by a survey that was taken, a half of 9th to 12th grade students try have tried marijuana four in ten high schoolers try cigarettes the most common abused alcoholic drinks would be liquor infused sugary drinks with alcohol and beer and again according to survey 12 grade students about two-thirds of them have tried alcohol and about 78 percent of teens in the u.s drink alcohol Now, what are the causes of consuming? So again, as I said earlier, peer pressure is one of the causes of why a lot of students drink alcohol and any other drugs, uh, also due to popular media, to escape self-medicating or boredom, simply to fill in a gap just to see if there's anything exciting to drink, if there's anything to experience, you know, different experiences. Um, then there's lack of confidence, shyness, and insecurity. You know, people think that by hanging out with different crowds, you know, they'll be a lot more popular. And that goes, and then they start drinking, you know, at parties, and it, misinformation as well. Are you kidding? You at least have to take a shot. That's why we came. 
So as you can see, this is a, clip, a quick clip that we created and it's showing basically what peer pressure is. So she didn't really want to drink, but her friends did pressure her to drink and eventually she thought that she would lose her friends. So she took a drink. And those are also the type of people that aren't really good to be around. All right, let's continue. So what are the effects of consuming that affect you academically? Alcohol makes you lose motivation. It lowers your grades. It makes you be unable to study and focus and it gives you a lot less coordination. So for those who are in sports or want to be in sports, drinking alcohol and doing drugs does affect your coordination and it affects your performance as well. So you wouldn't be able to give your full effort and your full focus on your sport. As for drugs, you can, it affects you, you can skip classes, miss classes, again, due to lack of motivation. You lose interest in those activities that you mainly like doing. You have poor memory and loss of motivation. And poor memory can lead to the inability to focus and learn. So it would affect you by not being able to learn the material that you have to learn in class, and it would affect your grades overall. Lack of motivation can cause loss of interest as well. And then it can affect the fa your mental state and you won't be able to, you know, really be interested in pursuing a career and continuing school. All right, so for this following video, you will be seeing how alcohol and drugs affect your academic performance. I sure hope no one sees me using my green pen. Hopefully it makes the headache from drinking last night go away. I 
will be a secret and I'll feel a lot more relaxed. And I won't have to worry about all these life problems. I don't think I'll be able to hang out today. I feel sick and I have a headache from drinking last night. Plus, I feel my test, so I won't be able to go out. Yeah, me too. Okay, so these are the different effects that can cause to your organs by consuming alcohol and using drugs. So for the brain, it can affect your brain development since you're at a young age and you start using at a young age, it'll affect it. And it'll give you lifelong brain damage. It'll affect your memory and motor skills for your coordination. For your lungs, you'll develop lung disease over time. Constantly using drugs, it won't be good for your lungs. They won't fully develop and they'll cause inflammation to cells to your immune system. To your heart, it'll give you an irregular heartbeat. It decreases your heart rate, a higher blood pressure, hypertension, and a risk of having a heart attack and a stroke. For your liver, the first step to liver problems as an adult is consuming alcohol. Over time, um, alcohol can cause really a lot of damage to your liver, and it'll give you inflammation in the liver. Having damaged organs plays a huge role in academic success or failure. Take a look for yourself. Healthy organs are on the right and sick organs are on the right. I mean, healthy organs are on the left and sick organs are on the right. How the organs allow you to learn and remember new information. Sick organs prevent you from doing all of that. So these are additional consequences of consuming drugs and alcohol other than those of affecting your academic performance. So for alcohol, you can gain unwanted weight. You're more likely to get into car accidents, especially if you are driving under the influence and there will be a, there's students who will develop more suicides and homicides so over time you know you will you can there's a chance that you will you could develop you know stress and depression and for drugs uh you're more likely to fall into addiction and you know that's a lot harder because there so you can have to be going to treatment you know maybe even going into programs to help with that. And it's just a lot more complicated. And you also have eating changes. So no, you would be eating more unhealthy and your health wouldn't be as well as it should be. And you are more likely to be sexually active, which could lead to unwanted pregnancies and the transmission of STDs. Prevention of consuming alcohol and drugs. For parents, less drinking at home can be a big influence on adolescents. Even though they might not want to or intend to influence them, adolescents will always focus on the fact that they're drinking and would want to try it. Parents can raise levels of supervision, especially having less teen parties. They manage what they can watch as kids on television as advertisements, television shows, movies, all containing alcohol, and they can provide adolescents with more education on the topic. Adolescents can watch the crowds they hang out with. Peer pressure is one of the main reasons that adolescents use drugs and alcohol. So watching your crowds can be a big impact on that. Also at parties, you can watch your cup at all times because there, there will be people who would want you to be drugged or to consume alcohol and they'll put different stuff in your cup.
All right, guys. So if you guys are paying attention, we've made a quiz and you guys can take this quiz. Top the first three to answer all the questions correct will get a $5 gift card. So if you guys can scan the code and take the quiz and we'll be recording the answers. Can you put it in a link? Because our kids are on a laptop. Oh, there it is. Never mind. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, everyone, we're still getting your responses for the quizzes. We will inform your teachers of who the winners are and we will deliver the um, Starbucks gift cards. So I just wanna thank everyone for their paying attention and allowing us to present this project that is going to be going to um, Fresno, um, Fresno County Superintendent of Schools. So it was supposed to be based on a um, project that affects our community. So we noticed that um, the use of alcohol and drugs does affect our students in the community. So that's why we wanted to reach out to you, our younger students and, and share this information. Just remember, you know, when you get here to high school, you have students that could mentor you, hanging out with the right crowds, or always even just reaching out to your teachers if you're having any problems with drugs and alcohol. So again, thank you so much for listening and you are all dismissed.